and away. Ooh. Feel that in my giblets. Back to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. A trap by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. Just the base game right now. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces. I played the base game with Amber. I've not played the base game with you, with like the audience. Oh my. I feel represented. I do. The fuck? What are you doing, PlayStation controller? Nobody needs that. I guess I don't push I guess I don't push the left left stick in. Hold on. Yeah, that did it. Already gone. I feel like my, my, uh, my keyboard's, or my controller's not inverted again. There we go. Didn't like that. No, oh, fuck off. I didn't like that either. Christ on a cracker. Oh, shit. That was... We're already going, huh? Yeah, that would have been a menace if I'd left that on.
source of the stuff. I need to finish this. I'm coming. I'm coming. What the fuck? Shit. And my sad little penis sitting there. This is way more intense than the first one. might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom, it's not your fault people get all murdery. What happened? Just work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you, too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan! I will. Bye, kiddo. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. Sounds good, Foo. I appreciate you being here. Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Mm. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Mm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Crazy thing about this game is that's maybe the goriest part. Well, we sure, start you off on a All fucking hike. Work. Time to get to work. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear. I'll check out that map. I like these art cards. Uh, worth memorizing before we get swallowed up by the trees. Uh, the map displays. I think I hear someone. Key locations in the area. Could be our deputy. Noted. I need to go back. Got a case to solve. Well, yeah, I wasn't going down there to fish. I thought I was following voices. Did our partner go the other way? I wonder. The Federal Bureau of Control? Hey! Toxic volcanic gas, huh? The FBI 
CDC is an obscure branch. It only shows up for unusual cases. Well, what's so unusual about volcanic gas? Beats me. Locked. They really don't want people coming in here. That's a control reference. I got that reference. I'm not reading all that. These are all nerd notes. And something's really not right about this place. Control was an excellent game. Oh, I thought we drove in this way. I guess not. That's like a little side trail. Yeah, Control was amazing. I loved Control. Alejo, what's going on, friend? Hey, over here. Hey there. Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Raker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson? Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems Saga. you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that... Uh, Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Um, I was summoned for Control Talk, literally one of my top favorite, uh, th top three lifetime games. I wish I could go back and play it without knowing anything about it. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell them about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. <laughs> well, we reckon there are some, uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, but you know... Inside. Go on. Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. I mentioned the city folk. They're pretty suspicious. Not that we have anything against city folk, right, Thornton? But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took them back to town a while ago. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store, you can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Hey, Mulligan, tell them I'm here, Winky. I'll show them around. They got it, Thornton. <sighs> yeah, I, I, I was pretty geeked out about having all the before we get to the crime scene there's time to review the facts of the case so far make sure i'm seeing the clues clearly uh i was pretty gratified about the fact that i'd played alan wake before control so i caught all those little references while i was playing the game i didn't realize that the remedy verse was a thing and so when i saw the alan alan wake easter eggs i was just like oh my god and like i freaked out pretty bad uh you can access the case board inside the mind palace The mind place. My version of the mind palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mind place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. The facts are on the board. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. Uh, all victims reported missing in 2010. So the slight difference in murders, bloating only com commonality in bodies, but not cause of death, chest trauma, exposure to water post-mortem. The case board is a mental technique that allows uh, Saga to analyze clues and progress the uh, invest investigation. You can use the right stick to move around.
dentist, teacher, store owner, Post-mortem tattooing of the body. Murder targets have no discernible common traits. Chest trauma resembles animal butchery. Bright falls. I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're Mind Palace does started. not pause the game. Worth Let's noting. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Yeah, Returnal was excellent. Nature gives me a headache. There's too much sky. Hey, Casey. Jesus, let me walk in front of you. You're putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Yeah, she's just kind of standing there doing her Sherlock thing. Stay going into our mind palace. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. Oh. Mirror Peak. I wasn't saying we should both run. Not a bad should. place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. What the you fuck? think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they... Sorry. The fucking phone booth out here? Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. So, FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. You forgot the UFO cover-ups. Those are real? You guys hiring? Gordon, he's Let's just see this body. I admire that the walkie-talkies here in uh, Bright Falls are always on. That's bold. This is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now, he didn't touch nothing. You know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay, let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. Uh, allows Saga to see active clues. Key image can be selected and uh, with X and placed on the case board. Okay. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? That's neat. You'll now prompt a question. Objectives are viewable at the case board in your goals. killer left the heart right next to the body 
Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Inside stab wound, chest cut open, heart removed. Consistent with previous killings. A real bitch about it. There we go. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. Uh, clues have resolved the open question and unlocked a deduction as you advance in the investigation. New questions will be unlocked, updating your goals. You can check the updated goals by pressing triangle. Learn more about the victim. Learn more about the killer. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here, waiting. Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Was it for a camera? Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Go. Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. Some bottles in the tripod. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. <clears throat> His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale. Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. So you knew our victim? Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago, 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. I think that's everything. For now, at least. Mm-hmm. Anything clicking yet? Not sure. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
You expect me to... Yeah, honestly, you expect me to take a, a quiet dump when I'm out here fighting for my life? Robert Nightingale. You'd have I to shit in the water. Came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. You'd have to shit in the water, which is doable, but you'd have to be near water. Like, you'd have to shit near a waterfall, but... In the first movie, John Krasinski and Emily Blunt lived on a farm. They didn't live at the waterfall. They didn't live by like, they didn't live by like a bay or a lake. Can you imagine having to take just an, like all of a sudden you just have an aggressive shit come on and now you got a duck waddle 13 miles to a, to a lake. You'd have to like put your finger in it. You'd have to like plug it and then walk like that shit in the tub i guess and then you like i what you fucking you, you have a slotted spoon for getting it out and then you go bury it somewhere quietly i suppose i mean i i, I saw a video from a dude who was teaching me how to shit in the woods because that's just foreign to me my my shits are messy dude I, I can't do the fast like bend a biscuit wipe one time with some leaves and you're done so I was watching this guy from Canada break down what he does when he shits in the woods. And he just digs a hole, shits in the hole, and then covers it up. But he was also saying, if you're near the ocean, you can go out in the ocean, shit in the ocean. Uh, and, and yeah, generally, uh, the grittiness of the salt water does a little bit of the abrasing. But you can also take like a handful of like palm fronds out there and give yourself the business in the water. Yeah, if you got IBS, you're just fucked. There's no slotted spoon that's saving you. Anyway, that just that made me think. I was just like, damn, I could probably figure out how to piss quietly. But without being near a body of water, there's no way I'm taking a quiet shit. And I'm being cut in half immediately the first time I eat spicy food. Yes. They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation piece it together IBS has turned my ass into a foghorn for no apparent reason my husband would just have to remember me fondly Taffy would you what would you what would you want to have happen if you were in a quiet place uh I want my wife to wait a couple years before she remarried but that's about it that's about all I could hope for this mug always cheers me up. Too many of those protein bars will give you explosive bowl, bowl splattering diarrhea. Bro, the, uh, yeah, like if they're living off MREs and like two year old canned goods. Mm, one bout of food poisoning. And you just mess, you just have to spend like a week in your own shit water. Waiting for it to all pass. Just sitting in your own filth. I feel like this is the kind of thing that they didn't posit. And I think they did it for good reason. I mean, they did figure out how to give birth to a baby. She did it in the middle of an alien attack when there was just crazy shit going on all over the place. I don't think that was the plan. I'm not really sure what the plan was uh, supposed to be. Using your intuition, Saga can discover new clues by profiling people of interest. When I was in high school, I thought this is what I was going to do for a living. I read a book called Whoever Fights Monsters by Robert Ressler. And he was uh, one of the first profilers. He invented a lot of the... A lot of the profession. The, mo uh, the TV show Mindhunter was based on him. 
And I, I was so... I was so entranced by that book that I genuinely thought for a while that I might, I might go, I might go into, uh, profiling for the FBI. I found a copy of it, Lisa, at my aunt's place in Seattle because they got to be on their toes up there in the nineties. It's a, in the seventies, eighties and nineties, if you were going to live in Seattle, you had to keep your fucking head on a swivel because you couldn't throw a rock without hitting a serial killer. Uh, so she had this book and I grabbed it just because the book cover was orange and it was rainy and she didn't have like video games. So I had nothing to do. So I grabbed that and read it one afternoon. And I mean, I read it straight through like four hours, knocked it out. And you guys know I'm not crazy about reading, but I couldn't put it down. Uh, so I genuinely for a while thought, thought for sure that I was like, oh, I'm going to go into the FBI and become a, a profiler for killers. I was legit my career path before I got married. Wicklander Zulu, Zulowski, certified investigator and all, but it stressed him out so bad I pivoted. I want to make a movie based on that guy and Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas and call it Mind Hunter S. Thompson. Bravo. All right, I'm getting in here. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A Nightingale, a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. How would you possibly put that together? Was there more I was supposed to do there? Out of curiosity. Was I supposed to, was I supposed to supposed to drink some mind coffee? My first ever prank on Casey. A true classic. Casey's favorite brand. Tastes terrible. The Mile High Strangler case. Proud of that one. Mom may be gone, but whenever I read this, I feel like she's still here. Miss you, kiddo. I'll be home soon. If only the rest of the Bureau knew what a softy Casey is. She married Jeff from Community? What are my goals now? Okay, oh, shit. My bad, sorry. I'm just learning the mechanics here. I was not done profiling the victim, as it turns out. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. That's the same thing. What am I missing? Oh, that's useful.
Did that not count as profiling him? What did I do wrong? Uh, Amy G chat, what am I missing? Agent Nightingale no. has been MIA for 13 That lets me go into those cutscenes, but I can't like pick those up. I thought I, I thought my my thing would be to move those things over to the case board. Maybe they're in my inventory now. Aha! That's what I'm. Okay, I found it. I got there. Investigate the crime scene. Check uh check the lake shore. The lake is connected to Nightingale. I got somehow. there. Casey. Which way is the lake? Ah, oh, shit. By the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Okay, I got there. Way right. Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just uh, I'll just wait here. Let's be sure to trample on all There's these footprints. Hunches, Anderson. Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction, from the lake. Probably looking for shelter, safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly noon. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. How could you possibly know that? That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? Haven't figured that part out yet. Mm hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. I didn't know trees got that big. There's a piece of paper on the ground. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? They come. A page full of texts on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm hmm. Like a manuscript. A page of a story. Hmm. Killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. Oh. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the words. words. Alan Wake fuckery. Like a message. Like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An, An invitation. invitation. How could they not accept, even, even if, if they, they knew, knew it would end up hurting them? Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. A witch with no heart. A strange echo of Al murder. Hmm. I should profile Nightingale about this page. Damn. A sheriff whose affections were unanswered, lady in question having bewitched him. She was drowned, but her la a dropped ladle grew into a strange tree named Witch's Ladle. I'll be back in a second. Roger. Can't go any further. Water's too deep. I should probably go back to him then. There's nothing left to do there. What are my goals now? 
Oh, that's my inventory. Charm slots let you equip charms to enhance Saga's abilities. Only charms can be equipped in charm slots. There's a witch's hut. <laughs> I don't know how to fast access the map. He came from the lake, but his tracks make no sense. I think it says hit the touchpad on the PlayStation controller left to right to get the map and right to left to get the control board or the, the board. But it doesn't seem to be working, and it could be because I'm playing on Epic through a computer with a PlayStation controller. Hey, you made it back. Good. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. We talking to him? Talking to either one of them? Wiener. Aha. We found the page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Yeah, alerts, I think so too. Inside the awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. Yeah, there's I must find out what. Remedy first. Uh re remedy verse fuckery afoot. Well, I mean, his chest is right there. Maybe this guy knows something. Nope. all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. I'm doing the right steps. I'm just, I'm learning what the game wants from me before I can. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. I mean, I think they heard you. He's right there. Deputy. I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. 
Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Thanks. Let's get the car. Drive to Bright Falls and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. I owe you a cup of coffee from that bet I didn't agree to. Seems like a nice town so far. Murders aside. Pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed, tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod for a camera? <laughs> to record a, a snuff film? Maybe. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. Trying to figure out which direction to go. Turned around in these woods. Alan Wake just criminal minds Here versus Eldritch Hard. The first one wasn't. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. The first one was uh The first one was Author versus Eldritch Horror. I can't get there were no cops at all. Out of my head. I've never seen killers reach There was an so agent named Barry. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. In a town this big, do you really have the budget as a diner to hire two sign guys to dress in aerosol spray paint cans or coffee cups or whatever the fuck those are? Bowling pins? Like, what's the budget this diner has for advertising the on Main just Street? Up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Just how much coffee have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> oh, they're thermoses. <laughs> don't know, don't care. Yo, yeah, maybe they're family members being forced to work for free. That makes sense. I could get, I could, uh, yeah. That tracks. Sure. An hour float will be the beller of all of oh, this year's dear. Fest. Just a few more days. Cute. It's got a real Twin Peaks feel to it. This is my first year fest, so I don't know what to expect. Let me guess. The FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Hold on. I feel like I know... Sheriff Breaker. Maybe. Yeah, Sean Ashmore. They even made it look like him. He was, uh, Bobby Drake. He was Iceman on the X-Men. 
not a flattering photo of him, but I knew I recognized him. That's Nathan Fillion. That doesn't count. But yeah, that's crazy. Sorry, I just recognized him, and I like between his voice uh, and a, and a, and the fact that they made him like actually look like his character, or like look like uh, his the actor. I was like, damn, dude, that's the dude from X Men. All right. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I've never played I'm Quantum Agent Break. I'm Agent Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Breaker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Yeah, my nose Frankly, itches. We could use the help. I was told there were witnesses. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no. The bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but... You can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. I haven't had pie in a long time. With the sheriff. Take your time. We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims go missing? Sure. But it slowed down ever since Calder Mike was passed off. You have a guess. This Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, OK? Uh, <clears throat> why were you at Calder and Lake? What were you doing at Colgen late last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. Damn, she's touchy. So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake, and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. Just one more question. Are you guys gonna eat your pie or is that set up for grabs? What makes you say it was a cult? It's not what I asked. <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. Yeah. They were shouting, Cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. Cult of the tree. Uh, oh, and then we found out. The whole thing was terrifying. That's all. It looks like rhubarb pie. I love rhubarb pie. The cult of the tree. What are the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree back, Tammy. Finders keepers, Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. So there is psychic fuckery afoot here. Got it. I was like, damn, she is unrealistically good at being a detective yeah strawberry rhubarb goes so hard it's delicious the bookers were at cauldron lake why this was built to hide what's there they say the rider fell in the lake private party no trespassing my book has questions past the bolt cutters they broke in for the sake of tammy's book nothing to do with the murder they were telling the truth. We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer.
Oh, multiple cases. The cult need to of know the more tree. About the cult of the tree. If I'm going to shut them down. Holy shit. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Fucking psychic. Wow. How did you put that together? It's I know, right? You need to hand it over. Okay. Okay. Told you not to keep that thing to me. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <sighs> like we'd even dream of missing you. Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Are we blocking Your stuff out? Daughter. That's so weird. You don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. She called you by your whole ass Christian name. If you say so. We were led to believe she talked to her in the car on the phone. Yeah, we're in Bright Falls right now, Tooth. We're right back there. She used your government issued name, man. Go to the sheriff's station. All set. My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Murder Fuck. cult. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D back in the day. The wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff! Looks like you have some guests. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yeah, Damn. real important Excuse guests. you. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. She always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs, ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. I'll be right with you, sir. Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff yep, yep. Station. Just Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, money. Sheriff. Grayson's here. I just heard the door open. I'm glad that I registered that because it would be scary if you just walked in here right now. So we share a morgue. Hello, with... everybody. Hey, dude. Ugh. We have officially started Horror Horror Month. Whippy. We're playing Alan Wake 2. Hmm. It is spooky. Hi, chat. You dressing up for Halloween this year? Or are you going to help me hand out candy? Are you are you too old for it now? Oh, no. I'm trick-or-treatering. All right. You can trick-or-treat. What are you going to dress up as? Uh, Inigo Montoya. 
That's right. Your mom said you wanted to go as Inigo Montoya this year. You got the hair for it. That's crazy. Yeah. And the mustache. Yeah. Talked talked uh, with some people. Uh, and apparently I've got everything except for the belt. Nice. That's a really good one. And then when people ask you, who are you? You can say, I am Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Excellent. People will say, what's your favorite candy? And you'll say, excuse me, before we do that, you would not happen to be the six-fingered man, would you? <laughs> yeah. And they'd be like, nope, sorry, five fingers. And you'd be like, ah, anyway. In that case, Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, as your brother said, what he's thinking about going? Uh, I'm not sure. No, I'll ask him. I'll ask him when I pick him up today. Uh, if you'll take that and the coffee, coffee cup, and just be careful because there's sloshy bits in it. Uh, you know the drill. Food, homework, healthy food. Not, like, stealing Sour Patch Kids or a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Nice. And not even super healthy, just, like, something with protein in it. Okay. Alright, I love you. Okay. Well, obviously, if one of my neighbors has six fingers, then Grayson has to stab them to death. I mean, if you're not going to commit to the character, then why even dress up? What's the point? funeral home next door it's a shoestring budget i guess you guys don't have that problem though Our oh you first i guess between a few other towns and he's away this week but you can handle this right i'm qualified to perform examinations yes i wanted to see if they showed my character's feet because i was like damn are they going to show me walking down the steps the they always cheer me up i can't say i feel the same he's joking it's incredibly well lit down here. Mmm, okay. Wang. Let's take a look at our patient. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. I see Wang. What was the cause of death? What other clues can the body give me? Aha. Uh -huh. They did leave something inside his chest. A vagina. Defensive wounds. They put up a fight. This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. The body shows signs of being submerged in water post mortem. It doesn't add up. That's the thing that's throwing you so far? There's writing on here. Can't make it out. Writing? How'd they manage that? Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. Oh, yeah. Severance. Second season of Severance is what? Uh, January? Early 2025? I'm fired up. Whoops. Okay. That's what my feet look like. That's why I got to lose weight. Text is smudged. Looks inverted. Heart can't have been marked before removal. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? Well, let's get in. My man's not cut. He's got that organic weenus. Free, free range dong. You're not gonna put gloves on for that? Is this 
same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. We don't the do Gale Hunted Saga. Didn't see her. We're the not doing fingerprints. Not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was, killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. What the shit? Sheriff? What the hell? Show me the clicker. Noted. Try to stay in the light to avoid being detected by enemies. Sure don't. We live here now. Safe havens will restore some of your health. If you leave or attack from a safe haven while in combat, it will become temporarily unavailable. Go. No. Which way was the hall? This way? I like the Iceman. I want him back. Yeah, the soundtracks for Alan Wake games have always been really good. I have no idea what's in the new game or in the first game now, but it used to be like David Bowie and stuff like that before the licensing ran out. It's still David Bowie on my like 360 disc.
got a real arcane vibe to it. Yeah, Old Gods of Asgard. Didn't they do control as well? They're just Remedies in-house band. They did the control music. Am I supposed to see anything in this? I feel like I'm watching a, a sonogram being done. Like I'm swimming through oil. Just a visualizer. I just want to make sure. I'm going to listen to the music. Fuck it. It's too good to skip. Dude, Control's incredible. That's one of my favorite games I've played out of the last like five years. He didn't have a heart, but he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared? What the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. All right. Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. Yeah, it's true. A lot of people really stocked up during that summer flash sale, too, because that was like, what, 40, 50 percent off? Like, that was a banana sale. So I told them to keep their expectations reasonable. Important. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. There's one of the pages on the floor. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. Dang. Are we going to the Mind Palace? <sighs> the heart is gone too. Did the fucker take it with him? Well, he wasn't using it. A dead man turned into a monster. Yeah, Why you heard that too, Celeste? To no. Them. Pages predicting the future? There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. Is the voice actor who plays Saga British? Because I feel like it's peeking through. Hold on, I have to look now. Solve. She she sounded so British there for a second. It's happened a couple of times. I love that my my browser tries to default to Kate Blanchett on IMDb. I type in IMD and it goes, "Do you want to go to Kate Blanchett's page?" And I was like, "Well, yeah." It's not originally why I was going.
Melanie Libbard. Yep, born in Hertfordshire, England. Daughter of Georgina and Michael. Yeah, that British accent keeps picking, or that British accent keeps peeking through. Do you use Vivaldi? No, I use Chrome, and it just keeps taking me back to the most commonly used IMDb uh, page. And it's just because I went to Kate Blanchett's for... We were talking about Borderlands and how bad it is, but how good Kate Blanchett is as an actor. So I went there, and then like I had to go back a couple of times to reference other movies she was in. And so uh, Chrome just uh, associates IMDb means I'm going to Kate Blanchett's page. Yo, Skiatolo, uh, Skiatolo, what's going on? Ciao. So yeah, our uh, our actor here is uh is British, and occasionally it keeps peeking through. God damn it, I look to the right. Thank you, Rusty. look right there we go sorry Ooh, pizza rolls sound good I'm a little bit hungry oh I got more map Hold of the trees behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. That's sure one way to go about understanding that. Oh, new case, okay. Doesn't look right. Really? It doesn't look right? Oh, the writing. There we go. Is that not where it goes? Oh, okay. There we go. Page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. I was gonna say, every time I've caught, like, production photos, it appears as though Alan Wake is, is a character in this game, just not here yet. Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker you guys are terrible cops. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. We'll do what we can, man. One of your colleagues is dead at your feet, you fucking bumpkins. That's crazy, right, Thornton? Nightingale's heart was missing. How could he do anything? Hey, 
Hey, how you doing? My client has been held here long enough. Are you gonna let me speak to them or not? Uh, just a moment, ma'am. Someone will be right with you. Not my clown, not my circus. Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. I guess we'd go this way and get to the car. Yeah, Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. ASAP. Think we'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. Owl. I'm gonna take a quick look around. Meet you back at the car. See you in a bit. Am I not going to the car? It's... It's our... Our best lead. <sighs> Rinse and repeat. Clock out, get a beat. Or maybe three. Did you check out the town, Anderson? Just getting my bearings. I mean, go? no, but I will now. If you're gonna insist. The town, how do I put it? Insists upon itself. What does that mean? It insists upon itself. Mercetta won't roll over on the issues. Don't lick it. should be allowed at this year's bake sale for those of you just tuning in spoilers chat i'm not on the radio in this game more's the pity brought to you by davis family most jerky and boy what an event why don't you just get a dog oh you're not blind you're sweeping got it Noted. I think it's safe to cross, my dude. Wouldn't that be something, Danny? If I just, like, all of my voice acting credits are just me on radio stations in, in random video games, that would be... That'd be kind of fucking neat, honestly. This feels like the town in that Studio Ghibli game. This is a big ass town. Oh, they go ahead and rope it off. Ooh, new conversation choices with the, uh, I'm gonna guess with the bookers. Yeah, dude, that'd be cool. Put me in the, put me in the radio for GTA 6. Put me on the radio for Alan Wake 3 or DLC. Just a second ping because Stevie's not paying attention. I think he'll be modless until he notices my message. Gotcha. Oh, okay. I see. I got to head out, Taffy. Have fun and don't die. Thank you, Lisa. Appreciate you. I'm only here for 30 more minutes. I, I, I'm so Good to see you. gassed from the last couple of weeks that like I can't go long today. I've got to go get bug and, and rest for a little bit. Well, the bookers aren't here. What about you? Uh. So, Rose, help me out. How do you think we know each other? We all know each other around here. It's been a while, but I never forget a face. Or a coffee order. Guess I just have one of those faces. Seen anything out of the ordinary in town lately? Suspicious people in deer masks? No one's suspicious. But soon enough, there will be lots of happy people wearing deer masks for Deer Fest. Practically everyone will be wearing one. Good to know. Dude, how great would that be, Rusty? Now that Meg's all grown up, who wants the big chair?
Nate and I are still kicking around ideas of like. Yako, we are going to a cool guy's house to drink some brewskis. Are you coming? No, Ilmo. I'm very busy wearing a turtleneck and drinking wine like an asshole. Oh dear, I know what Yako needs. I'm a beer to the rescue. Bring out your inner Wolverine with Ama Beer. Wow, this is the best party ever. Thanks, Ama Beer. Ama Beer is a traditional Finnish lager, and we drink it the Finnish way. At the bar while actively avoiding small talk with strangers. Getting blackout drunk on a boat during midsummer and trying not to drown. In the sauna, using your beer can to hide your pippeli from wandering eyes. <laughs> Partaking in the Finnish tradition of kalsarikannit. Drinking at home alone in your underwear with no intentions of going out. It's not sad if it's intentional. Ahma beer. Your Finnish drinking adventure starts here. I'm very happy right now. I don't know why I got that. I don't know what triggered it. Did I see an ad or something? How about that weather forecast for Deerfest? I'm just happy. I've been working on this float for a month straight. If it rains, I am gonna lose it. It'll ruin all the paper mache. I'm just happy it showed up. If I can make more of them show up, I by God will. Oh, I was in the room with a TV? Ah, must have been the diner. Can I go in here? Eventually, I bet ya. Eventually is now! Words! I hate museums! So what's good here? Any nice restaurants? I'm a bit of a foodie. Well, uh... The restaurants and shops in town are That's some beer, dude. at the moment, unfortunately. Hey, uh, they'll have a gone. grand reopening right after Deer Fest, though. So if you're sticking around till then. Oh. I'm looking for a TV now. I don't think any, um, whatever a Deer Fest even is. Oh. It doesn't budge. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, don't let me get in your way. I work here now? Nope. It's the first time I've been behind a bar in a while. Technically, what I'm doing is a crime? Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. If the FBI does it, it's not illegal. That's the TV. Give me an ad. Hey, Armor Lord, you did it. Congratulations. <laughs> you buckled to unabashed marketing and advertising. But you did it to support me, which makes it good. Thank you. Did they give me another ad? Oh, no. The weather report. Damn. FBI, open up. That's a TV. Give me a beer ad. Ooh, it's a video game. It was like Kung Fury, the video game. 
That's true. It was an ad brought to us by Madrinas. Right. Well, that's our time. We'll be right back after this next song by the rock and roll sensation National Nightmare. Did something just hit the wall of my house? It was dark as shit down here. It's not opening. Kick it open. I bet you they're doing it. New York City Colts. Find out the name from the coffee diner. Holy shit. Can't see a thing. We do have acorns. It could have just been fun, something falling from the tree. All right, let's go out to the cauldron lake. I need to come clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. He was chasing a writer, Alan Wake. Tell me mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case Casey. Murder case Casey. <laughs> Sorry. Ha <laughs> ha. It's the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then... Ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Their imagined prophet. After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. Ourselves. That's the only thing that's pulling me out of this right now. Words that end with R, she she struggles as a voice actor. She keeps slipping out into her British. Yeah, honestly, I I, I find myself digging this game so far. The like, says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. Let's start looking for Nightingale where he was killed. I'm sure we're going to end up with a lot of the same mechanics. The writer of these pages knows what will happen. Because they're behind this. Or because they can see what's coming. Impossible things are happening here. A world operating on different rules. I need to understand this strange logic. To see the clues. To solve the case. Solve. 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 If you're American, it's solve. You gotta sink that U or that O back there, make it into like a U. Oh. You hold that way up in the front of your palate, soul, then it sounds very British. That's the only thing pulling me out is that she she can't maintain an American. When she's in it, it's very good, but when when she slides out, especially on the R's at the ends of words, Ova. <laughs> 
My card had a fight between the rewards and the link code, which loaded as McLaffy Taffy and wasn't doing either. Uh, fortunately, I was able to push them off with code Taffy and check out. And soon I will have all the coffee. Collect them like Infinity Stones. The of the tree. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? In my experience, they don't. We're not seeing the full picture yet. Hey! Hello there! How are you folks doing? Those restricted area signs don't do a damn thing, huh? Hello. Saga Anderson. Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Ilmo Koskela. Fantastic to meet you. And yes, Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. I'm authorized to be here. And I bet you two are here about that murder. Nasty stuff. How's it going? You know about the murder? How did you hear about the murder, Ilmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of, uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's Sauna, Sauna de Vista. <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. You name it, we probably got it. Sorry, I just have this one server on Discord that keeps pinging me and I don't know why. And it's frustrating because it pops up on the side here. Okay, I'm good. What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic I activity did the server. and air toxicity It's still levels. getting through somehow. No need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. That's one gorgeous wetter saga. <laughs> Looks Nordic. I bet a family member made it. My mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Watery, my hometown, was founded by Finnish immigrants. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Ulla, Karjalan Close. My mom's family is from Sweden originally. I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. Okay, so if she is from a family that is either immigrant or she's first generation American, then I can buy that she grew up in a household with heavy accents and that's influenced her accent. That will make this palatable for me. I choose to believe that is the truth. Stephen, we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. But I don't know anything about a murder. Operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. They grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. Can not run through a garbage can. That's all for now. Yeah, it's, it's Pacific Northwest. This is Washington State, if I remember correctly. And these are obviously... Let's get to the murder side, Casey. Uh, nothing. Uh, just something that shouldn't be here. This is very obviously uh, meant to be control. Hey. Clear signs of tampering, tampering signal was rerouted into a transmitter that's not one of ours. Uh, I've fixed it, uh, so any alerts will come our way, but it's definitely concerning. I'll make reports for the investigations department. Leaving this here in case I'm not the next person to fix this thing. If you're reading this check for tampering, we may want to put more secure metal casing around the whole thing so that, you, so that the, quote, raccoons can't get to it anymore. Stephen Lynn, chief technician. But yeah, this is very, very intentionally meant to be control. Is that a kid's lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. 
He hates those cheesy crime books, but he really hates the movie. We're reading now. Things about control we're reading because I love that game. I'll read things I'm interested in. Manuscript fragments can be used to uh, upgrade weapons in the mind place. Casey, uh, upgrade weapon. Yeah, sure. Oh, look at that. I'm not reading stuff that's like, oh, this sh this tree is shaped like a ladle. It's witch's ladle tree. And I'm like, all right, I believe you. All right, so we're looking for manuscript fragment pieces as upgrade weapon to upgrade our weapons. Auto fire, more bullets. Stun the enemy with headshots. Yeah, the it, it, Control was a super wordy game, and I read a lot of it, but there was some of it that I definitely read, and I was like, I could have done without. A lot of things about this case keep bothering me. But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. I don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Hmm, he was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have them? Or was protecting him from nightingale there is so much darker on my screen than it is on obs i, I can't see shit why. not the kind of disappearance we normally saw i'm having to play it by looking at discord because it's so much darker on my screen our crime scene's drowning i never minded rain feels like home no sign of nightingale but the page did place him at cauldron lake in an overlap so how do we follow him there maybe something around here will tell us bare feet nightingale I'll see where these footprints lead. Can you come through the crime scene one more time, KC? Just in case. On it. If anything comes up, I'll radio you. We've seen this symbol before. Hmm. Good eye. Just want to be sure. Hmm. I was almost hoping that they would force me to reload like if i dropped a clip i was gonna lose all the bullets in it but i guess it's not tarkov probably for the best i'm sure i'm gonna panic shoot i would have liked that if it did though i i think i don't know maybe i wouldn't it feels good in theory the tracks lead into the water. Where'd you go from here? Oh, Jesus Christ on a something. cracker. A presence. Nightingale isn't far. That shit got me so bad it gave me an instant headache. Hey, Thank you for the biddies, El Pablo. Bits. That genuinely gave me a, a like a snap headache. Oh damn, we're back in the flooded basin. What is that? Seems like it's reacting to the light. These aren't the same tracks that were here before. They're headed into the tree, not out of it. My 
flashlight burn the dark stuff away? It was covering another page. The fuse was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. I trust the pages to lead me to the overlap. No. The inventory does have a real Resident Evil vibe to it for sure. I normally don't run, but I'm running out of time. Behind me. up and to the left. I'll fucking wreck you, dog. Yo, Evil Justin, what's going on? Been a bit spooky game month. Count me in. I love the first Alan Wake. We'll probably pick this one up if it goes on sale this month. I, uh, a viewer... This is the witch's hut. Champion paid me to play this game last year, gave me a thousand dollars, and I literally have been looking forward to it Anderson, since last year. I thought I saw something in the woods. Probably just a deer, but I'm gonna check it out. Okay. I found another page. Following up on a lead. Keep checking in. Roger. Here lived the witch of Cauldron Lake. Beware her spirit may still haunt this place. Yeah, neat, fun, thank you. Make my balls tickle. Is there a fuse box? box is missing a fuse i need to find one to turn on the lights locate a fuse in the immediate area i bet you there was one inside and i bet you now it's got a marker on it nope lied my ass off maybe there's one on the ground outside i guess Thought it might be like taped to the back of the sign or something. Oh. Those are beer bottles. This fuse is busted. That still won't work. Friday, Midge told me today that her family's moving away. This sucks. I haven't even told her that I like her yet. What's the point anymore? She said her parents want to get better jobs and get her into a better school in a big city. I guess that's fair. Who wants to stay in bright fucking falls? Sunday, so I told her. She said, thanks. Fucking kill me. Monday, I snuck out last night again. Went to the big house by the lake instead of just watching it from here like I always do. Uh, instead of just sitting around like I always do. Screw that. Anyway, something weird is going on down there. I'm gonna go find out what, gonna go back to uh, tomorrow with better gear. I bet I can find some way inside the building. Take some photos, it's gonna be epic.
Bath and Aziz. This one looks good. People should really stop littering, though. Well, dream catcher. A lunchbox again. Who's leaving these out here? I know things can get a little crazy around here, but if you're ever feeling scared, just remember that Alan is always watching over us. I love you. <laughs> Thanks. All right, well, if you need me, I'm going to feed myself into an industrial wood chipper. Oh shit, it's a break room. Quick save. Is this the only place you can save your progress, chat? Or like the only convenient place to save your progress? If that's the case, I should probably go. Because we have eight minutes before I've got to stand up and go uh, pick up the bug. But tomorrow we won't. It has autosave. I still think that's a pretty good spot. Like, you know what I mean? I, I can't help but feel like there's, like, there's going to be combat. There's going to be a cinematic. There's going to be clues to crack. And I just feel like now's probably the best time. Here, we can do these real quick. And then by the time we do these, uh, I, I think this will be a, a, a cool place to hang it up. Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? Well, let me do that. There we go. Whoops. All right, we'll watch the overlap and then I'll save again. I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree was a threshold. This place and the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. The threshold, like a doorway, leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree. And some kids? Which is ladle? There's a deer head in here? Oh my god. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I talked to the dude, he said, hey, buddy, you reminded me of a dream I had. But that was not here. 